it's pretty overwhelming for most voters. As Calgarians vote on an unprecedented seven question ballot in the municipal election, one expert says unbiased, independent information just isn't widely available. If that's what we need is, is somebody who is uh, sort of outside of the process, who can provide reliable uh, information. Obviously, the government is going to put up information that supports its perspective. Lori Williams teaches political sciences at Mount Royal University. She says in this highly contentious political moment in time, she'd like to see more independent resources about the candidates the record of that person, the experience of that person, and perhaps who is endorsing them. Because there, are, as we know, there are a number of third party advertisers that are supporting some of the candidates. And that can give you a little bit of an indication of what they, they stand for, where they sit politically. Not only will Calgarians vote on a mayor, a ward councillor, a school board trustee, and whether they want fluoride introduced back into our water supply, a separate provincial ballot includes a decision on whether to stop turning the clocks back, who we want in our Senate, and a contentious question about equalization. That question is not asking what I think a lot of Albertans would expect it to ask. It's not asking about renegotiating equalization. It's asking whether equalization should be completely removed from the Constitution. And the bigger question is, will Calgarians take the time to research these important issues to vote with conviction? As much as I can. Um, they really haven't come around or, or contacted us. Um, I'm still not 100% sure till I get in there who I'm going to vote for. Because we've got so little information. Not particularly just follow them along in their history. For me, I did, but I did the research and I don't think a lot of people did. It took me a minute to find a few things um, to actually find out who was even running in the different wards. And if you don't have the time or care to look into all of the information, it's important to know you can leave some questions blank, which Lori says is better than uninformed voting. In Calgary, Taylor Broad, City News.